Hello student, hope you are doing well at home and uh, uh, you already have studied, I am sure, the first chapter which is a cell uh, about which uh, I already have sent uh, links in YouTube uh, videos and questions and uh, assignments as well and uh, I am sure, pretty sure that uh, you all have done that, okay? Yeah. Well, uh, I thought to make a video on the cell but uh, since cell is the chapter which is I think the simplest and easiest of all the chapter uh, so you can go through that chapter yourself and if you have further in doubt you can ask me and I'll be able to respond to you uh, here in this video I'm going to talk about the tissue types of tissue significance of tissues uh, tissues in both animals and plants okay uh, let us see that uh, how tissue actually simply important important to, in comparison to cell say for example if you do organisms one is having only cell level of body organizations and other organisms is having tissue level of body organizations so the organism with tissue level of body organization is stronger its survivability is more it is uh, you know efficiency is more right so in all the in all the terms of uh, survivability in all the terms of life processes the organism with tissue level of body organization is much much better than the one which is only having a cell level of body organization okay so let us see how it all happens and how we can go from one level to the ne next level to understand that how it develops and how is it important to develop from cell to tissues to organ to organ system level of body organization okay here we have a cell or an organism with a cell okay the bin say for example it's a bacteria or it's a, it's a protozoa like like euglena paramecium or it's yeast cell right these are all single cell organism okay so they have only one single cell it means the single cell is their entire world they have to perform everything all the life process like like excretion like like uh, you know uh, nutrition like digestions uh, you know um, everything you know transportation absorption everything they have to perform reproduction with that help of uh, you know one single cell right so definitely they have only one single cell that is their only world now if you move on from that cell to the next system that is the tissue level okay so many organisms are there you know in the world which are having tissue level of organization in the body okay so we switch from cell to the tissue level here right so from cell to tissue okay here what is a tissue then let us define it a tissue is defined as a group of cell which is similar in structure as well as similar in function okay it means there are many cells which come forward together in a group and they perform the similar function right so we're talking about, about, about tissues advantages in details okay let me complete this hierarchy first okay then if we, if we move from tissue level to the next step that will certainly be organ level of body organization it means many tissues many tissues combined together okay or, or tissue itself you know conjugate together it's not necessary that many tissue will combine it is so that the, the conjugation of tissues together forms an organ organ say for example in human it is a heart okay heart is made up of cardiac tissues we also call it as a cardiac muscle right so it is a conjugated cardiac tissues which combine together and give rise to the heart so it, it forms a you know organ level of body organization right then from organ level if you move on to the next step student then we have many organs together it is not only one organ it cannot be one organ it can be more than one organ right so it can be organs so if more than one organ then all the organs together okay they form organ system level of body organization they form organ system level of body organization how it happened right we started from cell to tissues to organ and then organ system level of body organization right if we ask you right that the which organism is this the organism which has only tissues is stronger than the organism which has organ or is this the organism which has organ system level of body organization which is stronger than the organism which has only organ what would be your answer think about it and try to answer my question okay now I'm just sticking with the topic which is tissue so what is defined about tissue 
student tissue is a group is a group of cells with similarity in structure and similarity in function say for example uh, say for example we have uh, in human we have a smooth muscle right a smooth muscle represent one of the types of muscle tissues okay uh, now many cells are there many many uh, uh, cells are there uh, elongated cells are there and and fusiform cells which fuse together okay and they form a sheet a plain sheet like structures giving rise to a muscle which is called as a smooth muscle responsible for peristaltic movement and uh, serving a lot of functions about digestions okay and movement of food in the small intestine right they're also part of uh, you know um, the blood vessels right so here this is as one of the example of the muscles in human body okay in case of plant student we can have another example we can have another example of xylem and phloem right this is xylem and phloem xylem and phloem you might have learned in the previous class in school that the xylem is actually the tissue which is responsible for conduction of water phloem is the tissue which is responsible for conduction of food in the plant body okay these are the simple example just to clarify the concept of tissue okay uh, now what is the advantage perhaps i had uh, already given the question what is the advantage right four to five advantages of having a tissue in the body okay what could be the first advantage of having a tissue let us write it here what the first advantage if you have not answered yet try to answer it with me what the first advantage the first advantage is division of labor this is the division of labor what is labor labor actually the term here represents the functioning of the body now you have a lot of functions a lot of like processes this could include a respiration this could include uh, your digestion this could include your your response your uh, uh, this could include your uh, respiration this could include uh, your excretion right uh, detoxification etc etc a lot of functions you have you, you have in your body right they need to be divided and the the task of respiration the task of circulation the task of respiration the task of excretion so on so forth should be given to the different group of cells so called the different tissues so called different organs say for example uh, excretion the responsibility of typical excretion happening in your body is of a pair of kidney a pair of ureter urine bladder and then urethra so you have a well defined organ right which is actually called as kidney which is responsible for carrying out the filtrate process in your body filtering out the toxic material from the body okay now this is one of the life process happening in your body the other life process like circulation circulation cannot be performed by kidney kidney is specialized for that that labor is given to the kidney pair of kidney now if you have to perform circulation you have to come with your cardiac muscles and that is your heart so heart will perform the circulations right so circulation includes you know flow of the fluid in your body which is movable and non movable both kind of fluid fluid which includes the blood fluid which includes uh, you know um, you know um, along with blood you have uh, white in color the fluid which is called as uh, uh, interstitial fluid right so these are the kind of the example which can be simply presented to understand the concept of tissue so here the first thing that you obtain that you get by having a tissue is the division of labor your labor is simply divided you are not going to worried about your circulation you are not going to worried about your responses you are not going to worried about your nervous system because for nervous system you have central nervous system that is comprising a specialized tissues which is actually the nerve cells right a group of nerve cells you know simply make up of your nervous tissues so you are not going to worry about it so you already divided the labor in your body and therefore all these all this divided labor will be performed by a specialized group of cell so as a result is student we can write the efficiency of organism is increased okay so we can write for better functional efficiency for better 
functional efficiency clear so efficiency will be increased ultimately because if you compare this is your single cell right this one single cell is given say for example uh, uh, if you are given the task to carry out uh, you know uh, ration from ration shop this is this is you who is going to simply buy some ration okay some food grains some some edible thing from ration shop this is you who is going to buy milk from milkman this is you who is going to buy vegetable from the vegetable shop this is you who is going to buy the you know uh, the the fruits from the market now all the works all the household works is actually given to you to perform at a particular time can you do it with great efficiency no of course not you can manage but you are not as efficient as those who are given only one responsibility for collecting milk from milk man there is an individual who will collect milk from the milk man for for buying vegetable from the market from vegetable market there is another man in the house who will go to the market will purchase the vegetable right same way here so ultimately the 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 functions lot of functions are there their efficiency functional efficiency of organism's body in this way will improve is that clear so it will be much better in comparison to the cell which is alone alone performing entire activity clear here is a group of cell which is being performed the task is being performed the group divided clear so ultimately the efficiency of the organism will be much much better now the third thing that you have as an advantage of having tissues in your body is uh more life span this characteristic is attributed to the fact that if you have tissue they will support you more to perform much better life uh, processes as a result you will survive more okay is strength now more here is a comparative degree student i'm comparing with this one single cell right so i think you're getting the point fourth important point regarding this is that now if if you're surviving more obviously your strength will be more you will be stronger than the one which is single cell organism okay is stronger than single cell organism okay so these are as per your syllabus these are the four important attributes or characteristics of having tissues in the body okay well let us uh, uh, move on to the next part which is actually the classifications of tissues uh, we have to study in your chapter in the given syllabus about separately about plant tissues separately about um, animal tissues so we'll talk first about plant tissue okay uh so far this video is concerned i'm just going to make a classification i'll just classify the tissue and then end up with this video the next video i'll be elaborating about them okay so let me do it quickly plan tissue it is of two types student in your book i think this is all given but i'm just classifying it for your ease okay these are two types one is meristematic and that is permanent now meristematic is of three types one is apical meristem and that is lateral meristem third is intercalary inter calorie meristem permanent tissues are of two types student okay simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue simple permanent tissue are of three types one is parenchyma second one is colenchyma and third one is is claren kaima you have two types of complex permanent tissue xylem and phloem apart from this student 
you will study about the tissue present in leaf tissue present in stem and other additional tissue which are present in the different part of the plant their features what are marrow stems what are permanent and the types like apical lateral intercalary and their types like simple and complex etc i'll be explaining in the next video okay so you need to first keep all these classification in your mind right thank you very much